Hi, my name is Philip Fournier Vigé. I'm the third author. Today I will present you our paper called TKC, mining the top K cross level high utility item sets. This paper is a paper about data mining. We have some data, like for example, some shopping data, and we want to find patterns in the data that will help us to take some decision or to understand the data. Okay, so let's start about this. So I think many of you maybe knows about frequent item set mining. It is a famous problem in data mining. The idea is the following. Here I will explain with some example. On the left, we have a database. The input is a transaction database. So for example, it can be about shopping. We have the transactions made by some customers in a shopping mall, what they have bought. So transaction one, for example, means some people have bought A and C, like apple and cake. Transaction two means some people have bought some eggs. Transaction three means some people buy apple, bread, cake, and so on. Okay, so we have some database, like could be about shopping or about other things. And for this problem called frequent item set mining, the user need to set a minimum support threshold. That means a minimum frequency. And we want to find what the people buy many times together. So for example, if we set the minimum support to three, that means we want to find all the, what we call the frequent item set. That means what the people buy together at least three times. So the output, the result will be Apple appear four times. It is a frequent item set because it is at least three and we set the minimum to three. Bread appear three times, apple and cake four times and so on. And this is a famous problem. There have been many algorithms to solve this problem. But a limitation of this problem is that we try to find the patterns that appear many times in the data. But we don't care about some other factors like the money, for example. So recently, many researchers in data mining have been interested by a more general problem we call the high utility item set mining. So in high utility item set mining, the input is a transaction database. But it is a little bit different than what I showed you before. Here in the transaction, we have what the people have purchased. But also, we have some numbers that represent like a quantity, for example. So for example, the first transaction say that someone has bought one apple, one cake. Or transaction three, one apple, five bread, one cake, and so on. Okay. And also, we have a table called external utility when we say how much money we can make for each apple. One apple is a $5, one bread $2 and so on, one cake $1. So in this problem, this is the input and the user need to set a minimum utility threshold, some minimum amount of money. Like here, we want to find all the high utility item set, that means we want to find all the sets of items that the people buy together and yield at least $30 of profit. So this is the result. Here we have the high utility item set. So there are many algorithms. If you give this input, we'll find this result for you. Okay. So this is really useful. You can see the algorithms here. Okay. Uh, and the key idea about this problem, uh, I will not explain so much because we don't have a lot of time, but they will use some upper bound on the utility. Some upper bound like the TWU will give you some value. So if you have some set of item like BCD, it can tell you that anything with BCD, like the superset of BCD, cannot make more utility 
than for example 30 or 50 and then we don't need to search all the possibilities to find the solution so our goal is to design some good algorithm that are fast can find the solution quickly and don't need to look at all the possibilities so there are many algorithms for this so although these are very popular there are some limitations for the example of shopping one important limitation is that although we can find the set of items that are profitable make a lot of money we don't have we don't use the information about the taxonomy the categories of products but in real life the products often are organized as a taxonomy that means like some categories and subcategories so for example maybe you have the category the product bread pasta and they are part of a category wheaten food and steak and wheaten food are subcategories of food and we have other categories like beverage for coke and water and so on so all the algorithm about high utility item set mining the traditional algorithm they don't care about these categories but in the real life we have this category for shopping like on amazon and other websites so there are some paper that have considered using a taxonomy to find the, the item set the set of items for example in frequent item set mining some algorithm can find the cross level frequent item set or the multi-level frequent item set so i will not explain all the details here about this but the idea is you want to find some set of items that appear many times and sometime you want to replace the item by the categories so maybe coke does not appear so often but when you put coke and water together beverage appear many times so we can find the patterns with coke water or beverage and so on so there was to our knowledge only one paper that has used the taxonomy in high utility item set mining this algorithm is called the mlhui manner for multi-level high utility item set mining so i will talk to you a little bit about this algorithm this algorithm can use the category to find the patterns that make a lot of money okay but one limitation is that it cannot find the cross level pattern that means inside a pattern you cannot have a uh, bread with uh, food together or bread with beverage together okay because bread is at the bottom of the taxonomy and beverage is at the second level not at the bottom not the leaf of the trees okay so in mlhui manner it can find the item set but all the item must be at the same level in the taxonomy tree so this is some limitation because of this we cannot find the pattern like bread with steak and beverage bread steak and beverage because they are not the same level in the tree and also we can maybe say that this algorithm is not so efficient because it will mine each level of the taxonomy independently okay so it will not use the taxonomy to reduce the search or not look at all the possibilities so to address this limitation in a previous work we propose a new algorithm called clh minor to find the cross level high utility item set and then we can find the pattern like bread steak and beverage okay so this algorithm called clh minor is useful but 
Still, there is an important problem that we want to solve in the current paper. It is that it is difficult to set the minimum utility threshold uh, properly. If you set it too low, you will find so many patterns and then it will take a lot of time for the algorithm to find the patterns and maybe you will find millions of patterns anyway and the user don't have time to look at all of them. And if you set the minimum utility too high, then maybe only a few patterns are found and the algorithm may miss a lot of frequent or important patterns. So in this paper, we want to replace the minimum utility. We don't want to use this parameter because it is not easy to set and usually you need to set it by trial and error. Okay. So our solution in this paper is a new algorithm we call TKC for top K cross level high utility item set mining. So the idea is we want to change the problem. We don't want to use the minimum utility parameter. So the input will be a parameter K. That is the number of patterns that we want to find. And then the algorithm will give you the top K patterns, the K patterns that make the most money in your database. So you don't need to set the minimum utility because you don't know how many patterns you will get. But here you set directly K. I want to find 1000 cross level high utility item set. And the algorithm will give you exactly the top 1000. Okay. So uh, here I have more details in my PPT about how to calculate the utility. I will explain very briefly and then if you want more details you can also look in the paper because I did not explain yet how to calculate the money or utility. So here for an example we have the item set BCD. All of them are the leaves in the taxonomy. So to calculate the money for BCD we need to look all the transactions that have BCD and we multiply the quantities by the profit. So for BCD, 5 multiplied by 2. Okay, 5 by 2. 1 cake. Cake is $1. So 1 multiplied by 1. 3 item D. D is a $2. So 3 multiplied by 2. And then the same for transaction 4. So BCD make $34. Okay. So this is the case like in high utility item set mining. We don't have the category. But if we have the category, look at this item set like Y and C. Y is a category. So Y means A or B. Okay, it could be A or B. So we find all the transactions that have A or B with C. And we do the sum of all the money. So this is how we will calculate the high utility for the cross-level high utility item set. Here it gives uh, 61. Okay. So I will not talk too much about this because we don't have so much time. But you can find more examples in the paper also. So the problem definition in our paper we have the same transaction database and utility values and also we have a taxonomy and we set the parameter k like k equal 5 not dollar okay but just 5 we want to find the top 5 patterns and then it will give you the result here we find like z and x is a top k cross level high utility item set and it makes for 84 dollar so X and Z are the, the categories in our taxonomy. So this is a pattern normally you cannot find in high utility item set mining. So it is really interesting. So if we want to think about this problem, how to find the solution, we want to design an algorithm. This is the search space of all the possibility. 
So we can have X, Y, A, B, B and A, C, C, Y, C, A, C, B and so on. Okay, there are so many uh, possibilities. So the main thing that is different with high utility item set mining is that we have two types of extension. We call the taxonomy extension and the join extension. Join extension means you add one more item to an item set. So you have like um, C and you add Y. So this is a join extension because you have C and then you add one more item. And for the tax based extension, it means you replace a category by a more specialized item. So like I replace Z by D, for example. Okay. Okay. So we need to do these two operations to search for all possibilities. So I have more example in my PPT, but I will skip the details. Uh, you can find more information in the paper. Okay, so to also to reduce the search space, we have some new measure that uh, are based on the previous measure of high utility mine, item set mining, but that, that we have adapt to consider the taxonomy also. Okay, so here, this is the code. I will not explain. You can find in the paper also. Now I want to show you some results. We use two real database called Liquor and Fruit Hot. Both of them about shopping and all of them have a taxonomy. The first one have a taxonomy with seven level and the other four level. You can find more details, the number of item, number of transactions and so on. Okay. So we look at some result. First, we evaluate the optimization. We compare our algorithm TKC with and without the optimization. And then we change the parameter K and we look at the runtime on the first database and the second database. And we found that usually when we increase K, our algorithm with optimization is faster. So it shows that the optimizations are useful, okay, at least for this database. We also look at the memory and we find that we found that the optimization don't have a huge impact on memory. Uh, there are more details I will skip because of the time. We did some experiment also for scalability where we increase the database size and we look at the time for different values of K. And we find that usually when we increase the database size, the speed increase more or less linearly. We also compare our algorithm TKC with CLH minor. And for different value of K, we set the optimal minimum utility threshold for CLH minor and we found that the runtime is about the same, which is very good because our algorithm actually is for a more difficult problem. Okay, so this is good for us. We also evaluate how easy it is to set the parameter K to get exactly how the, the minimum utility to find exactly how many patterns we want. So we find that it is not easy. So our algorithm will be useful. So here I skip the details. So we found also some real patterns that are interesting, like beans and cherries and so on with a different level of categories. I will skip the details. So in conclusion, we define a new problem about cross level high utility item set mining. We define an algorithm with some optimization. So if you want the code, I will put also on our website. You can find the code and the data. That's all. Uh, thank you.